In this video, we will see that how technological progress can affect the isoquant map, that is the production function, in its form where the labor and capital, that is the two inputs, they are plotted on x and y axis and the output is on the z axis. So the technological progress is now being incorporated in the isoquants, whereas it was considered to be constant previously. Uh, it is one state of technology that we see in the isoquant map. We assume that the technology is not getting upgraded. From very old point of view, from the classic point of view of economic theory, it may be suitable, but uh, during the recent times when the technology is on the rise, it is uh, suitable to consider the possibility that technological progress is taking place and the effect is surely includable in the isoquant map. So the advancements in the technological knowledge, it can lead to shifts in the production function and more output can be produced with a given set of inputs. Because the same labor and capital will become more productive if there is a better technology. For example, these days we talk about information and communication technology. The digital technology has made things easier for the producer to produce uh, with lesser effort and by using the same amount of labor and capital they can produce more than before. So this is an example of the technological progress. Now we will see that how it can affect the isoquant map we have uh, this uh, isoquant map which is again very much helpful to understand the process of the changes in the production. Now capital and labor they are placed on x and y axis respectively. This is the first isoquant and here uh, this is the time that is first point in time this is the second point in time actually because this is t naught this is the first point in time and this is another isoquant basically the isoquants they have uh, the same output here here we have made the diagram in a little different way we must not be deceived by it because we can see both of the isoquants have the same output the difference is that the isoquant here is now and this isoquant is somewhere in the future that is after one time period and we assume that when the time passes from now to some time in the future the technology will be upgraded and if the technology gets upgraded the same level of labor and capital can produce more of the output and this shift basically is showing that we are able to produce the same output that is Q bar here and if we talk about its placement here it means that we are using less of labor and capital because previously in order to produce q bar we needed this much of capital and this much of labor but after the technological progress over time that is from t0 to t1 this shift has taken place and the same output that is q bar is now possible with using less of capital that is this much and this arrow shows that how much lesser capital is now used and this much of the labor and this arrow again shows that how much the usage of labor has declined. So the technological progress has made the same level of output possible with lesser of the inputs. One isoquant at two different points in time, this is what it is, T0 and T1, the same isoquant we are talking about. If technological progress has occurred between T0 and T1, the same inputs are able to produce more output or in other words, fewer inputs are needed to produce the same level of output. So we considered the second possibility and we considered the same level of output and we then inverted the situation and we uh, can say that fewer inputs now are required as you can see in the diagram the same level that is q bar can be produced with lesser of the capital and lesser of labor 
it can also be understood in the way where we can say that the same level of inputs now can produce more output than q bar but we kept the output constant and the effect was observed on the inputs that they are required lesser than before the isoquants un uniformly move towards the origin this is what happens when there is technological progress there is a shift in the isoquant and it is towards the origin it is converging uh, 